All right, I'm already ahead of the game here. I've got a coat of black poured in my tray here, and I'm ready to start playing some more with these chameleons because I've got plenty mixed up and I gotta use them all. So let's get to playing. I just turned off that fan so it'll stop boy talk about it. super reflective howdy howdy this is claire lawrence and i have my mirror finish here no i uh black uh coat of resin on here and i've got a mixture of two things going on uh some of it's just straight black paste and some of it's black paste and also a little bit of color passion uh base cell and that'll help out with some cells, but it won't be completely covered in cells because I don't want too much, but I want to have some fun with it. So I have a couple of colors here uh, that I want to use up and things are starting to get a little thick here. So I got to get, get moving pretty quickly. This is deep purple. And I've also got some um, wild jasmine and some of the other uh, chameleons. And I'll put the colors at the end of the video so you'll get to see and links will be down in the description below but in this case I'm going to do something a little different and I'm just going to paint or pour I should say some swirls in here and just kind of start laying it down now my uh <laughs> wild jasmine looks a little different because I was dipping my brush into the resin so it got a little darker and that's okay I don't mind I do like mixing up some colors and this is one of the chameleons here so I'm gonna cross over a little bit with that I think this is Red Queen. Remember again, it's a little bit on the darker side. Uh, this one I don't know the name of, I'll have to look it up. What was interesting is it would almost look white before, but since a little black got mixed in with it, you can really see the blue and green that are in there. And chameleons love black bases to really come uh, shining through. All right, put some heat on it. And I got these silicone brushes. And they're uh, originally meant for applying resin onto tumblers, but I have actually had a lot of fun playing with them, but just applying resin to my trays and such. So I'm gonna keep doing that and you'll get to see what I'm talking about here. So I'm liking the brush strokes that kind of come out. And I'm not going very gingerly, meaning, uh, not being afraid of it, I'm just going for it. And I'm trying to keep the same pattern going and I'm okay with it if it starts skipping over. Actually, the skipping over looks kind of interesting later on. So very simple. I'm gonna go around the, some of the darker areas just to put some tails in there not much just a little bit and yeah so very simple I right, even even the brush looks interesting can you believe this stuff okay put this with a little bit more heat and with me doing the um color passion as the uh in the base cell at the bottom and doing color over it um i'll start to get cells as this is curing they'll happen 
with some time. Uh, so some cells are already starting to pop up, it, it, or it could be a bubble, I don't know. But um, over time, the it might develop more and more cells. So this is gonna be really, really interesting for tomorrow. So super, super quickie, but let me get you in for a close up. All right, go overhead. All right, for a close up, junk. Super amount of fun there. Almost gives a marble look to it. And the thicker the resin is, like uh, when it's getting close to that, where it starts setting up in your cup, the uh, more likelihood you'll get to keep like some of the textures in here. But the freshly mixed up resin, see there's some cell stuff that is starting to develop there. But the freshly cell stuff will usually, the uh, pikas will settle down to the bottom and flatten out a little bit. All right, until tomorrow. All right, it's been about an hour and a half and I just wanted to show you guys something. So, Things have shifted and moved around. Other cells have developed. So a lot can happen with it just resting uh, when you put a base cell activator or like the Sunco base tent kind of thing in there. And you just let it be. And that's why I like to use a little bit of it, not a whole lot of it, because you still get these solid colors in a mix with these cells. So it's really, really interesting. So I love areas like this where it gets really dark and you just have these nice blends in there. I'm trying to do this without that nice light there. Right in the corner here. Very cool. Zoom in. It's crazy. So it looks like it's going to keep a lot of the texture from me moving it around with the brush. I don't know where to look at. There's other areas here. Like that looks really cool right there to me. I love how there's almost transparent cells. That's that illusion of depth. There we go, I tilt my phone. Get rid of the light. <laughs> so yeah, sometimes you get surprises even after you put it up to be cured. That's why I like to show you guys after it's cured pictures. All right, so I'm gonna do another video tomorrow with the results since I've got several pieces going on and including the molds. So, later. All right, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, but definitely hit the bell to get notified next time I put a video up. Later, y'all.